Hello everyone and welcome to another video covering the AQA GCSE Computer Science course. We move on to topic number 8 today which is all about hardware. So let's have a look at some key hardware in a, in a computer system. So first um, let's have a look at the CPU which stands for Central Processing Unit. Um, and hence the name, it contains a processor which processes data and undertakes instructions given by the applications and the inputs of the, of the user. So um, you can have many, you can have more than one CPUs um, in a computer system, but we're going to look at this more in detail in a future video, probably next, I think. So check that out, topic number nine, I think. Um, so people often liken a CPU to a brain because it does all basically the thinking of a computer. Um, and a motherboard is a bit more like the nervous system, it links everything together. So um, it links the CPU to the memory um, through buses, which are basically communication highways in a way, but you don't really need to know that, I don't think. Um, so it links, for t it links everything together, essentially. So everything goes through this. You can see at the back of this uh, small image, you've got your USB input, your um, uh, VGA input, and the RAM would uh, st um, be put in here, the processor goes there, and um, yeah, I mean it's difficult to see because it's quite a small image, but um, it links everything together, that's what you need to know. Um, the graphics card is basically, um, um, basically deals with all the graphics elements of the, um, the processing, so you can, most modern processors have graphics in integrated um, into it, a graphics card integrated, but the graphics card is designed to process the graphics portion of the processing load. So when you have um, one, or you can have more than one in your in your computer system, um, your graphics um, output to your screen and the running of maybe a 3D game or a editing uh, program will be a lot more smooth and it, it basically lessens the load of the CPU, which is um, very important. I, I've got um, a I've, I've got a graphics card, quite a high-end one. This is a fairly simple one. Um, hasn't got any fans on it because obviously pro oh, a small fan, I think. But the processor on it obviously doesn't do much work, um, and you can have more than one. So you also need to know about the hard drive. Um, so this is a form of secondary secondary storage, which we'll look at in a future video as well. Um, so it contains a hard disk which is here. It's a form of magnetic storage again, a topic for a future video, um, where the data is permanently and um, physically stored. Um, flash memory is another form of memory, hence the name. Um, so a form of flash memory would be your USB thumb drive and like a memory card for like a camera. Um, and this is quickly accessible memory that can be easily rewritten. So it's got a fast read slash write time, which is quite important to know. Also, we've got two other forms of memory, uh, ROM and RAM. ROM stands for read only memory and RAM is random access memory. So RAM is um, volatile, whereas ROM is non-volatile again that's that we will look at in a video dedicated to memory um, so when a program is opened the data from it is loaded from the hard drive into the stick of RAM or multiple sticks of RAM this is a, this is some RAM um, because reading data from RAM is very fast and so when it's stored on this it's it makes it the use of a program quicker so for example whenever you have your program minimized it's not doing anything then you you open it again it'll be loaded from the ram pretty quickly if it was on a hard drive it'd be qu quite a lot slower um so rom is basically you barely have any rom on your computer it's basically on the motherboard usually and it contains pre-installed data that cannot be changed it often also contains the um, um the operating system on a mobile in a mobile phone um and it is seldom used but you can't can't change it, hence the name read only memory. Um, um, so you also need to really appreciate that, again I guess this is sort of common sense, but the size of hardware is decreasing, meaning that it can fit inside small small units, um, such as in phones, tablets and games consoles, so you're, you can use a, a powerful processor in a, in a small phone, um, and obviously the, the processors and the hardware itself are getting better and better so that's why we're having so that's why phones tablets and game games consoles are getting more and more powerful and um, capable but that's sort of common sense that could be a sort of question that could come up potentially and we also need to be able to classify a hard um, hardware as one of these four things either something to do with input something to do with processing something to do with output or something to do with storage um, okay, this is sort of fairly common sense but you do the specification mentions it and in the specimen paper last year they made and um, this was something of um, this is one of the questions so 
Um, uh, so input, an example of an input device would be a keyboard. By the way, I didn't actually talk about the peripherals, which is what a keyboard would be. It's supposed to be an O. Um, but these are common, fairly common sense. You, you know what a keyboard, a mouse, a monitor is. Um, so I didn't decide not to mention that. So also, um, I'm using a graphics tablet here. So um, hence the handwriting is being a bit dodgy. So a graphics tablet would also be an input device because... Um, I'm writing on the graphics tablet and it's being inputted to the computer and it's being written on the screen pretty badly but um, oh well. Uh, processing, an example of something that does processing would obviously be a graphics card or the actual processor itself so a CPU, CPU graphics card, also a sound card um, has a processor and sound card is seldom used by people generally um, but similar to a graphics card it just does for, for um, Helps with the, any um, the processing load for sounds. Um, so I, another well, another thing. It's not hardware, but applications obviously process um, data. So they're not hardware, but it may come under that. Um, obviously, output would be things like a, uh, a monitor, monitor um, speakers. Um, etc 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 storage is just memory so you know ram hard drive etc so um there will be there's actually quite a few topics on storage and processing coming up in the next few videos so check those out because they are very important if you don't know much about them then it's it's essential to watch those videos um but that's it for today's video thanks a lot for watching and um yeah I'll see you in the next video. Bye.